My body produces responses to experiences I have never had so that I become adrenaline aware and survival ready in answer to threat that you say isn't there. I burn from slights I do not see with my eyes, yet feel in my humanity, and erupting rage, impatient, rises up to shout down voices that have never spoken directly to me or even in my time. To be a Negro in this country and be relatively conscious is to be in rage almost all of the time. James Baldwin With smiles that die behind the eyes, my sense of otherness is perpetually, surreptitiously rammed down my throat by those unable to understand my ingratitude and restlessness, those who are unwilling to acknowledge fault unless it is couched in the arrogance of altered reminiscence. Since we are none of us without fault, all lives matter, and where would you rather live, in your war-torn, politically corrupt country or here, this is the most tolerant place on earth. And yet, statistics show that my sons are exponentially more likely to be stopped and searched, more likely to be harassed, provoked, arrested, detained and die in custody. One horrifying, mind-numbing, bone-chilling event after another strengthens the nagging, inescapable truth that the institutions built on the backs and bones of our taken freedoms and youth do not extend themselves to us as fully as they ought or as fully as they say. And the rage gets caught in my throat. The rage is my cage and my propulsion, intramural and external, cells with knee-jerk reactions. As I push water, I'm forbidden to drink uphill, treading corn while muzzled, sustained by sweat and rage. You want me to ask politely because taking is wrong, violence is wrong, even though that's what made you strong. Protesting injustices must be done by petition, permit and with permission in an orderly, conciliatory fashion. Citing cruelties must be relegated to past eras since the sins of the fathers should not be visited upon their children as that would be unfair. So I take the knee in the land of the free. And you are all the more incensed by me. You criminalise my silent protest. You call for boycott and my arrest with a fervour that only dissipates at my death. We finally get your attention when we release our rage and scream with flames. Yet you fixate on those who loot with condemnation and rebuke, hashtag them thugs and prepare to shoot. And those memories, once buried in genetic code, become 21st century reality of being black in this country. <laughs>